Ooh, and the sun. Did you time that? All right, millions of Americans will look to the sky next Monday to watch the sun disappear. You know, the sun's going to get mooned. Yeah, no kidding. Right, right in the middle of the go. day. Right uh, in the middle of the day. Right in the middle of the day. My, we, no wonder we can't look. No wonder. <laughs> Don't look. One place you can watch, though, the solar eclipse is at the Science Center at the Inner Harbor. And ABC 2's Cassie Carlisle tells us this is something that all of us have never seen in all, uh, 40 years of time. The year is 1979, the last time Americans gazed at the sky to watch day turn to night. The top song was I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor, and Jimmy Carter was president. Today at the Inner Harbor, scientists are getting ready to see the solar eclipse once again. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> Senior scientist Jim O'Leary saw the last eclipse and is counting down to Monday. From here in Maryland, it won't be total. It'll be about 80% of a total eclipse, so it's a partial eclipse. Scientists call it the all-American eclipse happening across the United States. Here, you'll be able to see the moon block the sun from 1.18 p.m. until a quarter after four. And you better have your solar glasses on. <laughs> Looking at the sun, we know it's dangerous. Even just glancing at the sun, you know it's too bright to stare at, so you tend to look away. But people have damaged their eyes by trying to look at the sun. That's why the Science Center is handing out solar glasses. They're you know, very fashionable. You just put them on here. You look up at the sun. You finish looking at the sun, you look back down and take them off just to be completely safe. The glasses block 99% of the sunlight. The center also has Again, shields for those, those who are nervous look about the glasses. The and if you don't want to look up, look down. You can make a pinhole projector with a piece of paper and a pin. It's very easy. You just poke a small hole in the middle of the sheet of paper, projecting the image of the eclipse as shadows on the ground. They'll also have sun spotters. No matter what you do, you'll have company. We may have a thousand or more, so it'll be a very busy day, and we'll have lots of activities for families, for kids. This telescope will be looking at the sun. And if you miss this one, don't worry. The moon will step in front of the sun once again in 2024. At the Science Center, Cassie Carlisle, ABC2 News.